Drone Bayraktar TB2 destroys dozens big Russian tank in time one hour in Donbass. Dramatic footage has emerged of the moment a pair of Russian tanks suffered a direct hit from bombs stealthily dropped from a Ukrainian drone. Expertly flown by an operator believed to be from Ukraine's 503rd Naval Infantry Battalion, the drone swooped above two Russian infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, at an estimated height of around 400 feet, before letting loose its payload. Five seconds later, the anti-armor grenades detonated and engulfed the IFVs in a pair of huge fireballs. Ukraine's armed forces have used drones to great effect amid the Russian invasion, expertly conducting small-scale airstrikes and using drone-mounted cameras to analyze Russian troop movements to prepare ambushes. It is unclear where the drone strike took place. shortcomings in Russian tactical coordination remain. A lack of unit-level skills and inconsistent air support have left Russia unable to fully leverage its combat mass, despite localized improvements, the mod tweeted. Russia hopes to rectify issues that have previously constrained its invasion by geographically concentrating combat power, shortening supply lines and simplifying command and control. Meanwhile, Ukraine's military continues to carry out attacks behind Russian lines to cut off vital supply routes, with a fuel dump in the Donetsk region catching fire today. Kyiv has not acknowledged carrying out any of the attacks, which have also hit railway bridges and ammo dumps, but is widely thought to be orchestrating them. Ukrainian soldiers hiding in the network of tunnels and rooms underneath the plant have repeatedly called for international aid and a safe passage for evacuation, saying the plant's residents are barely surviving on extremely limited food and water and that there are many injured soldiers and civilians suffering without proper medical attention. UN humanitarian spokesman Saviano Abreu said the World Organization was negotiating with authorities in Moscow and Kyiv to organize a ceasefire. There is, right now, ongoing, high-level engagements with all the governments, Russia and Ukraine, to make sure that you can save civilians and support the evacuation of civilians from the plant, Abreu said today, but he could not provide details of the ongoing evacuation effort, because of the complexity and fluidity of the operation.
Lasă-mă să o tam! Ukraine has blamed the failure of numerous previous evacuation attempts on continued Russian shelling. The ferocity of the fighting, and the plight of the civilians hiding in the Azovstal factory, has stunned the world, bringing Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby to the verge of tears on Friday. It's hard to look at what Putin is doing in Ukraine, what his forces are doing in Ukraine, and think that any ethical, moral individual could justify that, Kirby, a retired rear admiral, told reporters. It's difficult to look at some of the images and imagine that any well-thinking, serious, mature leader would do that. So, I can't talk to his psychology, but I think we can all speak to his depravity.